What's going on guys? Name is here bringing you guys a brand new video and today I'm not in my normal setup. I am traveling. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly where but man it's nice to unwind after a very long year of a lot of work. And there's some rumors going around with the New York subliner so I wanted to make a video to stay on top of everything and keep the content coming to you guys. The New York subliners have formed a team Apparently, it is a rumor, rumored to be playing with Hydra, a player from EU who is on train hard. Apparently, this kid's a beast. We'll talk a little bit more about him later. John is rumored to also be on the roster, also alongside Zuma, Mac, and Clay. And I think that if this is the roster, that it has a lot of upside, but let's dive deeper into it. So let's just start with the easy ones, Clay, Zuma, and Mac. Those are three fantastic players from last year. Mac burst onto the scene where he was pretty much a superstar. from challengers and he was playing phenomenal all year long so it would be crazy to just let him go you also have zuma who is always a great player he snags one tournament every year he basically turns up and wins one and he has the potential to be on a team that can win multiple events in a row also clayster the world champion he's great with younger players and up-and-coming talent him on this roster with the rumored team that's around him i could see it having a lot of success now let's get into the parts where it gets a little bit juicy okay so hydra and john all right so let's start with john so john obviously most of you guys know who he is versus four now a one on three they're beautifully painting themselves but instead let's make it a 1v2 oh and if he wins one more engagement he earns himself heat wave He's gonna peek up high. There's the kill. The right area of the map, John, for the one versus four. He gets vision of the player, John! Clutches a one on four! If you just joined us for uh, the CDL last year, you probably don't know John, which is crazy, but he's a world champion. He's won multiple events, and he's known as one of the best SMGs of all time. So John is a player who should be on a top team, right? Like, he's usually on a top four team winning events. Uh, he's usually a player people are referring to as one of the best SMGs. And the thing about John is he was either banned or let go for a year. Nobody exactly knows why he wasn't able to play for a year. Uh, nobody knows what he did or what the reason was, but all that is irrelevant now because John is apparently back and he's able to join a roster, which changes a lot because that's another top tier player that's coming into the scene that's taking somebody's spot and also gonna be on a team with some good people. So if they were the team that was actually able to snag John, that is huge because one, it is a little bit of a risk. Obviously, John has been out of the scene for a year and he did do something obviously that warranted a ban or whatever it was to be let go from the scene for an entire year so it's a little bit of a risk but the upside is huge there it's tremendous John is a player who won the world championship in 2016 he was the MVP and he changed the entire dynamic of that team so adding him back into the fold changes a lot and we could be seeing uh, another MVP coming back into Call of Duty so let's talk a little bit about that roster if it was John Mac Zuma and Clay I think that this team has a lot of respawn upside I think they would struggle a little bit in search and destroy um, but in respawn i think they would be phenomenal i mean you look at john mac zuma the aggressive smgs you've seen john and mac be able to pull out that ar from time to time i mean in the world championship in 2016 john was running all different types of weapons i mean i saw the hvk the man of war um he's obviously running the vmp so he's He's no stranger to being able to be versatile with different weapons. And then Clay will be able to go back to his main AR role where he's been dominating for years. So I think that that team would be phenomenal because you have a good balance of SMG Slayers, aggression, and also the old veteran leaders in John, Zuma, and Clay to be able to figure out what's going wrong with the team and move forward throughout the year. Now let's also talk about the dynamic of having Hydra on your bench. Um, if you have Hydra either in your starting roster or on your bench, you can't go wrong because you have John and Hydra. Either one you can flip in and out. And I think that this is a special formula for success because there's something to be taken away from what the Toronto Ultra did this year and having 10 players on their team, 10 solid players. If you look at New York, if you have four solid players and one extremely solid player on your bench, that's all you need, one extremely solid player on your bench, it can change your whole team if you do decide to bring them in. It's a nice dynamic to have because it forces everybody to be on top of their game and to be on top of practice and to be focusing on getting better. So if you have a player like that who's hungry, who's on your bench, who's been playing in challengers for a year, who's been frying, it's going to be a huge formula for success because he's going to light a fire under everybody that's above him and he can also learn from the veterans that are on the starting team. So a little bit about Hydra is this guy has been around for a while now. I was talking to some of the European veteran players and they were saying that he's been running the local lands uh, for the last few years and he's been waiting 
to get into a pro team and to get into the spotlight. And he was able to play in challengers last year and basically he dominated challengers. Uh, I have a quote, I'm not gonna say who, but they basically said he was 1v5ing teams uh, in challengers and he's a guaranteed 40 in every single hard point. Now that is only a sample size from MW, but typically if a player is dominating challengers, they're ready to, give, to get a shot at the pro level. And the reason that this is a, a time to give him a shot is because we've seen a lot of success from people coming from the amateur slash challenger scene in the pro scene. So I think it is a it is a good time to bring in Hydra and test him out, especially in this new world that we're in where everything is primarily online because of COVID. Uh, you can give him a good test uh, in the pro scene and give him some practice so he can learn and eventually be a pro level player. So he was on train hard. He got back to back second places. So he's obviously been in the high pressure tent situation. So he knows what to do there. Uh, uh, apparently his English is also very good, so that's not gonna be a problem. He's actually a French player, but as long as his English is fine, that's good for communication. Um, but over, I have a quote, overall out of the non-UK European talent pool, He's definitely at the top, aside from Kleenex, I would say. That's a quote from somebody very respectable in the scene. Um, I was trying to little, learn a little bit more about Hydra because I am I pretty much I analyze the pro side of things and I'm not too well versed on the amateur side of things, but I have the tools to be able to reach out and figure out what's going on with those guys. And for Hydra, it was sort of a surprise because I didn't know too much about him other than that he was a phenomenal player. I did not know that he was this ready for the pro level play, according to some of our pros and coaches in the scene. All right, guys, so all in all, that's all the information that I have on this team. I just wanted to get a video out to sort of give my take and my opinion on it, but that's the rumored roster. It's John, Hydra, Zuma, Mac, and Clay. I think they have a formula for success. Um, I do think they're a little bit outclassed by some of the top teams, but given the situation that these players are in, I think New York made the best of it and also taking their best step forward and getting some new talent. Um, so I'm very excited for this team and I think that they should be great, but we'll learn more as the season begins. And also this is a rumor. This might not even be the full team, but as of right now, it looks like this is uh, very promising. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Uh, I'll be uploading some more videos to come. The support has been overwhelming over the last few weeks um, and I just appreciate it, man. So I'll see you guys when I get back. Peace. Mm -hmm.